Um, hello, this is Shane Lambert from Missing Persons Commentary. Um, what I wanted to talk about in this short video was an article I wrote about a couple of years ago now, um, in November of 2019, so a year and a couple of months ago. Um, it was about the, the missing person, or pardon me, um, a case of the cases of Dario Cicilecchia. Uh, and Janice Pocket. I said others. I plan to uh, add more to this um, to this case study. Um, but the the topic of this article I wrote was called "Missing Kids and Their Bicycles." Um, what I looked at in this article is I I watched an episode of Forensic Files um, where a child murderer had kidnapped the child uh, and he had been apprehended. Um, after being apprehended, he admitted that he liked, he was attracted to, pardon me, he found the child uh, because the child left his bike by the road and then went into a secluded area. And this child predator saw the bike and followed the child. Um, now that, would, that was interesting to me. Um, because we're talking about the child predator here um, who's revealing how his thoughts worked. Um, and there's lots of missing persons cases where only the child's bike is found or only the child's skateboard is found. Um, my thoughts before I heard him talk, um, the, the child predator, I do forget his name at the moment, um, but my thoughts with missing persons where a child went missing and they only found the bike was that the child went on a walk into the forest and met um, somebody who harmed her there. Um, but then it, it kind of, I kind of looked at things a little differently after hearing this guy reveal what he was like. It was more that a child that leaves their possession in an obvious place reveals that they're around. Um, so it's not, you know, it's not a kid going into the forest and happening on the homeless person there. It's the neighborhood pedophile seeing the bicycle somewhere, like next to a nature trail, and realizing that that's his cue to follow them. Uh, so I just, uh, I thought, I wrote this article, it's called Missing Kids and Their Bicycles, and it's just the, the food for thought and, and comparison and contrast. There's the Forensic Files episode about how... Uh, these crazy guys can think. Um, you might want to read it if you're interested in uh, amateur investigation and missing persons cases. Uh, while it only talks about thing, bicycles, it, I think it's more general. You know, a, a pogo ball or something like that. Anything where uh, a child's possession is a clue to a child in an area. It, it can be a risk factor. Um, and if there's even a lesson there. You know, I mean, I don't think you should let your children go into the park unsupervised or anything like that. Um, if you are going to let them, you know, you should discourage them leaving their their bikes, their um, dolls, anything that they're carrying with them at the entrance of the trail that they're using, because that might encourage the wrong person to follow them. So just, uh, if you want to read this, you can just search for missing persons commentary, missing kids and their bicycles. There's some keywords, and uh, there's me, the author.